All right guys, so I'm about to do something pretty crazy. I'm about to drill a bunch of holes in a pretty expensive solar panel. I'm gonna be testing out the Yuma 100 SIGs solar panels by Bouge RV. And as a disclaimer, they sent me these to drill holes in them to show you guys that they still produce good output even with holes in them. I reviewed their 200 watt SIG solar panel about a year ago. It's still using it, still works great. If you guys are interested in seeing that video, go check it out. It was a pretty cool video where I show how that panel flexes, how you can mount it different ways charge out your window in your house all kind of different crazy stuff so go check out that video i'll put a link to it below or up here in the top somewhere they sent me these they asked me if i wanted to do this review to see if they would produce the same output and i'm going to drill a couple holes in them quarter inch holes all through one of the panels and we're just going to see if it still performs really well so what we're going to do is i have two blue eddy AC240 solar generators here. They're both identically the same. And in fact, they're about the same charge rate, one at 35, one at 36%. And we're also gonna use the solar panel multimeters to show you exactly what these panels are capable of. And we're gonna show that with these solar generators as well to see what kind of power they produce. So currently, right now, they are producing 98.29 watts out of this panel over here and 100.7 watts out of the panel on the right side. So I am getting about one to two watts more out of the panel here on the right side. So I'm gonna drill the panel on the left, the lower wattage one, only because honestly, I don't wanna ruin the one that's producing a little bit more power. And you'll find that you'll have a little bit of variances between solar panels. Two watts isn't really a whole lot, but I've seen these panels produce up to 110 watts. When I first plugged them in, they were a little bit cooler and it was producing 110, even 112 watts on one of them whenever I was checking this out a little bit earlier to see what they would produce. So we're gonna go ahead and plug these panels in now to these solar generators. I'm gonna start drilling some holes and we're gonna see how they work, if it affects anything. Now you do wanna keep in mind that you don't wanna really drill holes up in here because there's some bus bars up in here. You don't wanna put any holes through this obviously, but anywhere along through here should be fine. But do keep in mind, if you ever get holes in your 200 watt panel, you don't wanna get any holes right down the center here because this is a bus bar and you don't want a hole there because it may affect your power output. But let's hook these up and let's see how they perform after some holes are in them. So now one thing that's really important is using the solar panel multimeter because not all solar generators are the same. So when you see people testing solar panels going into two different solar generators, it's really gonna depend on what charge rate they're at because some of them will limit the charge rate depending on what percentage they're at. Using those multimeters, it's pretty much not gonna lie. It's gonna give you an exact output of each panel of what they're capable of producing. Now these are identical solar generators, so they should be very accurate as far as relaying, you know, what percentage they're charging at. As long as the charge rate's the same, which they are, they're only about 1% difference there. Like I said, this right panel was already producing about one to two watts more than the left panel. So we'll keep that in mind during this test, but that gives me a good benchmark of what to start with. And again, it's pretty much the same. I'm getting 96 watts input on this one, 97, and I'm getting 98, now 99 on this one. So still one to two watts difference between the left panel versus the right panel, 97. 99, so still that two watt difference. So let's start drilling and see how it continues to perform. And if any of you are interested in any of these panels, the 200 watts, 100 watt panels, solar generators, whatever, I'll put links down for all this stuff down below in the description. Please consider using those links if you decide to purchase them because it really helps support the channel. I will receive a small commission at no extra cost to you. And it lets the company know that my videos are working. And to be honest, I don't ever try to sell stuff in my videos, but I let it show for itself. So let's get into it. I'm just gonna pick a random spot here, quarter inch bit. There's one hole. Let's see if it makes much of a difference. Oh. Yeah, so my wife said it dropped, but that was because I had a shadow on it. I have 95 watts in that one and 97 in this one. So it did not even lose any power output drilling that one hole in there. That's crazy. So 94 watts on the left one and 97 on the right. So there's three watts difference, maybe dropped one watt. It was just 95 and 97. So very, very similar in wattage. Didn't really lose any power at all. That's pretty crazy. And I'll show you exactly where I drilled the hole. I drilled it right here. It's definitely going through this bar and this bar here. So it did not 
hurt the efficiency of the panel whatsoever with that one hole being in there. Let's drill some more holes. This is actually a pretty fun test. I enjoy this. All right guys, so we got 96 watts on the left panel. Uh, oh man. <laughs> I was trying to do this before the clouds came, but down to 31 watts and 30, well it was 31, now it's 20, 17, <laughs> 16. They're both really the same now, 19, 19. So they're both exactly the same. We'll wait till the sun comes back out. I'm gonna drill another hole. But yeah, just went behind that cloud. I hate cloudy days on solar panel testing. <laughs> All right, so these are actually about the same wattage. I'm just gonna go ahead and drill it. And then when the sun comes back out, I'll show you the difference between the wattage outputs. And I'll just show you on shade too, because you're gonna have shady days someday. So let's just pick another spot, go ahead and drill a hole. And these are just random holes. Looks like we got 16 watts on one and 17 on the other. So that's only one watt difference and that's two holes in the panel. When the sun comes back out behind those clouds, we'll show you the output when it's very sunny out. But I can't believe that. It really hasn't lost any output yet. So when I reviewed the 200 watt SIG solar panels, the only really negative that I had was that the, these have a thin film on them and the film nicks up very easily, scratches very easily. In fact, I thought it was a film that you actually peeled off and I started to try to peel it off and then I emailed them. Go watch that video, you'll see what I'm talking about. But this film scratches really easily. It has a nice protective film on there, but you can see even with my fingernails, it just scratches really easily. Not sure if that would make a difference in the end. Maybe we'll scratch it all up and find out. But that was my only concern with the original panels, but so far, these are producing excellent power even with holes in them that's crazy and here comes the sun all right so there's only about a four to five watt difference i was getting like 97 watts on one and about 101 to 102 on the other and in the beginning there was already a two watt difference so really there's only about a three watt difference with two holes being drilled in the solar panel like i said pretty crazy and that was with me scratching it so maybe that had something to do with it too and now that the sun's behind the cloud again i was getting 24 and 26 watts so it was only a two watt difference which initially it had a two watt difference anyway so that's pretty insane and if you watched my first video these panels would be good for putting on top of an rv or a camper you can get the panels with either the holes in them for drilling them down with screws like i have or you can get the ones with a sticky back where you can peel that off and stick it right to the top of your camper but keep in mind those are going to be kind of hard to remove if you ever want to take them off and switch them or remove them to a different camper but it is pretty cool that you have the option for either a sticky back or one that you can mount down with screws and again i'll put links down below if you guys are interested in picking these up so now the sun's sort of back out we got 100 watts coming in on the right one and 94 watts coming in on the left one actually 99 now so yeah about a five watt difference all right now i'm actually going to pick where i drill this hole i'm going to try to drill it right in one of these seams here to see if that makes a difference and it should affect two of these cells here all right so we got 98 watts on this left one and 103 on this one so still only a five watt difference how many holes do i have to drill in this thing until it makes a noticeable difference let's keep drilling let's get pretty crazy here and just drill let's see i got three holes now let's drill two more real quick try to make this video a little faster one there one there actually let's just drill a bunch got some grass on there let me get that grass off there so it doesn't make a difference with being covered in grass so now we got one two three four five six seven holes that's got to make a big difference it's now behind a cloud and it's 19 and 22 watts so three watt difference with seven holes being drilled in there all right let me get the grass off the good one my <laughs> wife said there's some grass on it didn't really notice 20 watts in the one with seven holes and 24 watts in the one with no holes actually yeah 21 26 the sun's coming out so let's see what it ramps up to now and still not a huge difference i actually enjoy this test if any other solar panel company sees this video and wants to send me some similar panels to do this kind of testing i would love to send them my way and i'll drill a bunch of holes put a bunch of holes and put them through a beating and see how they perform being damaged sun just went back down we'll have to wait a few minutes all right now so if i were to mount this to this roof 
and I wanted to use these screw holes, I'm gonna go ahead and drill a few where they would line up because some of these won't line up. So let's go ahead, drill down through these few here and see if that makes any difference. But first, let's see what kind of power output we have from those other holes being in there with the sun being out. All right, so we got 87 to 88 watts on the one and 99 watts on the other. And now we got 90 on this one. So it's about a nine watt difference minus the two watts that there was in the beginning. So about a seven watt difference with seven holes being in it. So each hole really only made like a one watt difference. So now let's drill those holes in the bottoms there and see if that makes a difference. One hole here, let's drill one hole here. Another hole here. And one more hole here. All right, so we got 83 watts on one and 91 on the other. So only an eight watt difference, which is only really six watt difference. That's crazy. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang this solar panel in a tree up there and let my kid shoot the crap out of it with a slingshot. <laughs> We'll see if that makes a difference. And if you shot a glass panel with a slingshot or tried to drill a hole through it, the glass would shatter all over the place. This is some crazy technology right here. All right, going to hang this in the tree. I cannot kill this panel. This is insane. Let's just hang them up here by the solar panel wires. All right. All right, bud, go to town. Shoot the crap out of it. Okay. Let's see if you can damage it. <laughs> oh yeah, we got a nice little dent in there. Shoot it again, bud. <laughs> Another nice divot there. You can actually see them coming out through the back there. A couple divots. Ooh. <laughs> Another one. And five. Let's see if it can withstand the Crossman brake barrel pellet gun and the Red Rider BB gun. All right, so let's see. Well, that was uh, prematurely, but <laughs> we're going to see if it holds up to the Red Rider BB gun and this pellet gun. Okay, bud. Ooh, that was a good one. Let's go see if it went through. All right, so the BB didn't go through. It hit right here, but the pellet did. It went straight through. So now let's take this thing down with seven drill holes, one pellet hole, five shots with a slingshot. Let's see if we can still get some good wattage out of it. This is crazy. And like I said, this technology is pretty insane too to be able to bend these solar panels up like this. All right, this is insane. It was just showing 99 watts. There's 96 watts now and 102 on the other one. So that's only six watt difference. That is crazy. I cannot believe that there's only a six watt difference now between the two panels with all that damage that's done to it. Yeah, 94 watts now on that one and 101 on that one. That's insane. I could not kill that solar panel, but I think that's gonna be about it for the testing. And uh, well, actually, you know what? One more thing. Let's go scratch the crap out of it and see if that makes a difference. I think that's pretty well scratched. Booz RV. Now one final test, let's plug them back into those solar multimeters, get a good comparison there. And I think that's gonna be about it for this testing. I cannot kill this solar panel, that is crazy. We have 12 holes, five slingshot divots, and a bunch of scratches. And this is still producing 54 watts out of the left one, actually 52 and 55 out of the right one. It's a little bit behind the cloud right now. Let's get some B-roll here so you guys can see up close. We got 48 out of the one and 53 out of the other. So that's only five watt difference, which is actually only three watts. Cause as I said in the beginning of the video, there was already a two watt difference. Let's wait till the sun gets back out, show you what it is during the peak sunlight. And then that's gonna be about it for this video. It's a little bit hard because the sun is a little bit behind a few clouds, but I'm getting 80 out of the panel on the left with all the holes and 85 out of the panel on the right with no holes. 83 and 89 now, that's crazy. 88 and 95. So there's only a seven watt difference. And in fact, that's only really five watt difference. That's nuts for having all those holes and those scratches in that panel for it to still almost produce as good as it was when it was new. 
So that's a crazy, insane test. And one thing to keep in mind, if Bouge RV wasn't confident in this product, they wouldn't be sending out panels like this for people like me to do this testing. I can't believe it performed the way it did. I honestly didn't think it was gonna do that good, but that's gonna be about it for this video. If you found this video helpful or enjoyable, please consider subscribing and checking out some of my other videos and I will see all of you around on the next one. And don't forget to leave a comment and questions down below because I love interacting with you guys and it also helps my channel out. Thanks for watching everyone. See you on the next one.